Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. It's already a beautiful day outside here today. I know it's going to be really hot in some parts of the country, but whatever the case, may you find great peace and joy and rest in God's presence wherever you may be. Today's word of encouragement comes from John 3, 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. What an awesome verses those are. Oftentimes we know the first one by heart. Um, maybe we have to look up the second one or maybe it's not so quite so clear. But sometimes, don't you think the second one is just as important? God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world. You know, I think part of the problem in society today is sometimes uh, we don't see Jesus as uh, the Savior he is. What if we looked at Jesus as a doctor? I mean, if you were to go to the doctor this week and the doctor said, hey, uh, if you don't stop doing these things, you're going to have cancer, um, wouldn't you change your ways? If the doctor said, hey, if you don't you know, stop doing these things or stop eating these things, you're going to have diabetes, uh, wouldn't you at least consider doing things the doctor's way? Uh, we trust our doctors, don't we? And even when we get sent to a new doctor, we're trusting that someone has said this doctor's good, and when they tell us something, uh, we try to follow it. Now, obviously, there's times in society, certainly, that people don't follow the instructions that have come about. Uh, it's been obviously stated now for many decades that smoking is harmful, and yet many people still choose to smoke. And, uh, and really, it is their choice, and, and, I, and I'm not condemning anybody for that. Um, but when it comes to living our lives, wouldn't we want to listen to a good doctor? Wouldn't we want to do our best uh, for the most part? That's what Jesus is. Jesus is like the good doctor. He's come to save us. He's come to help us. He's come to help us to have a life worth living and to enjoy life for as long as we can. I want you to listen to the doctor today. I want you to take what Jesus has to say. And it's, what he has to say is right here in his word. Obviously, we have the whole Bible that paints this big picture of God and Christ and the Holy Spirit, what it does. But the Gospels really spell out who Jesus was on his time on earth and, and his death and his resurrection and all that meant for us. See, even when we chose to do our own way, even when we chose not to listen to God, not to listen to, to the doctor's warnings, he died for us. He gave his own life that he didn't need to, that we might have eternal life. Praise God. Praise God for his great plan and praise God for Jesus and his willingness to follow uh, the, the plan of God. Today, won't you give your life back for him? Now that he's given his life for you, won't you choose to say, I'm going to live for him. I'm going to listen to him as the great doctor. I'm going to do it his way because I know that brings the best life possible here until we get to heaven. On the other hand, we do know that when we get to heaven, that there, there will be a judgment day when we stand before God and we have to account for us. And if we haven't received Jesus as our personal Savior, if we haven't had our sins placed upon his back because we haven't received him, we know that the destination is hell and not something any of us look forward to. Today, let's celebrate the doctor who saves us. Today, let's celebrate the one who came and died on our name. Today, let's share that with the world. Let's share the good doctor. Let's share the doctor that we have found with the good world that can save their lives. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for your almighty plan. Thank you for your word that teaches us about you, about Christ, about the Holy Spirit, and, and all that you are as God, the three in one. Father, we just pray today that as we're out and about, that you would help us to minister to people. Give us opportunity to share information about our good Dr. Jesus and all that he wants to offer. And Father, may people be receptive to it. May they open their arms and their hearts to Jesus. May they confess their sins and repent and turn to him that they too might have eternal life with us. Might we all be saved because of your love. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do. Be with those who are hurting this today. Be with them especially. And may they sense your presence. May they call upon your name for help. Father, thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. I hope you lean more on the good doctor today, that you enjoy this day because he's what he's given you. Uh, tomorrow is Sunday. We're looking forward to meeting at church at 11. I know the governor is coming out with a new mandate on Monday. that takes effect Monday, and we're not exactly sure how that affects us yet, but we will give you that information when we have it. In the meantime, uh, again, we'll be at service at 11 for those who would choose to join us. We'll also have our Facebook Live page going uh, at 11 and our, of course upload that to YouTube channel later. So we hope that somehow tomorrow you could join us. We would love to be a part of your day. Have a great day. God bless you. We love you.